Introduction to Epizoonotic Diseases In this session, we shall look at key terminologies and definitions related to zoonotic diseases of epidemic potential. We shall look at the zoonotic diseases of epidemic potential in Eastern Africa, the significance of epizoonotics as emerging diseases, the factors promoting emergence of epizoonotic diseases, the consequences of epizoonotic diseases, and general response interventions for epizoonotic diseases, and then issues related to animal welfare. A zoonosis is a disease or infection which is naturally transmitted between animals and humans. It may occur from an animal to a human or from a human to an animal. A simpler definition is a disease that normally infects animals but can also infect humans. An epizootic disease is an outbreak or epidemic of disease in an animal population. An enzootic disease is a disease that is endemic in animals. Exotic diseases are those which are imported into a country in which they do not otherwise occur. An example is avian influenza. Emerging and re-emerging zoonoses are diseases caused either by totally new or partially new agents or by microorganisms previously known but now occurring in places or in species where the disease was previously unknown. Examples of this include influenza, Ebola and SARS. The priority zoonotic diseases of epidemic potential in Eastern Africa include Rift Valley Fever, Influenza A viruses, Anthrax, Rabies, Ebola and other viral hemorrhagic fevers, Plague and Trypanosomiasis. What is the significance of epizoonotics as emerging diseases, especially in Eastern Africa? Globally, there have been over 20 new diseases in the last 30 years. Over two-thirds of new disease-causing agents arise from wildlife. Examples including SARS, Nipah, H5N1, H1N1. Domestic animals account for 20% of new zoonoses. The East and Central African region is a hotspot for new diseases. Factors promoting the emergence of epidemic-prone zoonotic diseases include social economic factors like intensive farming without biosecurity measures, water supply projects, urbanization, human population movement, animal movement, famine, free-range farming systems. Environmental factors include climate change like global warming, presence of vectors and reservoirs. Human-related factors include co-infection with other disease agents like HIV and TB, lack of knowledge on biosecurity measures, inadequate personal hygiene like sneezing without covering the mouth or not washing hands. Cultural and behavioral risk factors include lack of knowledge, food habits, changes in lifestyle, and human livestock wild, wildlife interaction. These are some of the characteristics of the human animal interface that increase the likelihood of transferring diseases that were previously not known in humans from animals. Intense handling of animal products with low biosecurity, causing diseases like brucellosis, anthrax, avian influenza. Pastoralism and free-range systems, hunting, gathering, eating game meat and carcasses, predisposing to Ebola and anthrax. Contact with bats, predisposing to Ebola and Marburg. Ill-cooked products, causing salmonellosis and brucellosis. 
hygiene and rats predisposing to leptospirosis and hepatitis E, free-range poultry and migratory birds predisposing to avian influenza, conservation areas like Ngorongoro, Samburu, ill handling of domestic canines predisposing to rabies, sociocultural factors including sharing accommodation with animals, and cross-border risk as well as gender-related risk. What are the consequences of epidemic-prone zoonotic diseases? They include socio-economic impacts like reduction in the level of outputs from animal production, reduction in perceived or actual output quality, waste of inputs to animal production, resource costs of disease prevention and control, negative animal welfare effects, and international trade restrictions. Human health costs, including effects on um, costs of treatment, effects on the environment, effects on tourism, effects on rural livelihoods, political and social disruption, and increased poverty. Other public health consequences of zoonosis include increased deaths, increased illness, social disruption and panic, collapse of regular healthcare systems, health workers are at high risk of contracting these diseases, and health workers may run away from health units. Response interventions include farmers should report incidents to animal and human health workers. Provisional quarantine of affected areas if necessary. Confirming the occurrence of the outbreak and notifying the authorities. Activating the rapid response team, including vets, health workers, leaders, the police, ETC. Identifying the probable source of infection and identifying the severity of the infection and extent of spread setting up immediate control measures, disposing of dead animals in safe ways, either by burning them or burying them, quarantining the sick and suspected and observing general conditions, stopping movement of animals and vaccination where necessary. In outbreak situation of zoonotic diseases, Animal welfare situation should be taken into consideration. If they are to be destroyed or killed, animals should be treated in a humane manner. Reduce undue pain. Confine them in a considerate manner. Thanks for listening.